the role of the dollar internationally, so closely allied with that of the United States, is in trouble. Oh, it's not gone yet. We're not talking about collapse, but we are talking about decline. And now the mass of the American people are beginning to feel it and sense it too. The notion that the United States was a place where every generation lives better than the one before, that notion is dead. Many, many Americans feel bitter and angry. It's a major part of Donald Trump's support was coming from the people who feel betrayed. They experience the decline I'm talking about as a betrayal. Somebody has got to be to blame. Could it be immigrants? Could it be liberals? Could it be black and brown people? Who The scapegoat opportunity is always there, and there's always a sleazoid politician who climb aboard the, the scapegoat train and ride it as far as he can. Trump is only the latest. But there's a lesson there to learn. There is something real going on, making people upset and angry and bitter and sometimes cruel and nasty. What is this? And you know, we have parallels. One parallel I'm going to give you is Germany. Too much happened to the German working class in too short a time, and it went crazy. Let me remind you. Germany was the ascending power at the end of the 19th century, like the United States, the powerful, rich, capitalist newcomer displacing the old, previously dominant British capitalist empire. And the Germans were successful, like the Americans, and began to really believe in themselves, like the Americans, and to imagine that they had a bright future, like the Americans. And then the United States and Britain allied and destroyed the German hope. In 1914, the Germans went to war thinking they'd win. In 1918, they had been defeated. They were destroyed. But that was only step one. In 1922 and 23, Germany experienced an inflation of the sort that the Germans had never seen before. In a matter of a few months, the exchange rate between German marks, that was their currency at the time, and the U.S. dollar went from six marks to a dollar to 10 billion German marks to the dollar. That's right. People were paid twice a day, ran home, and gave their wives or husbands the pay in a bag of bills, and they ran to the store to spend them because if they didn't spend them within an hour, they'd be worthless later that afternoon. That's how fast prices were rising. That's an inflation. Americans haven't seen it yet. And then, as if to wax a defeat in World War I and a catastrophic inflation. And by the way, what really did the Germans in was that inflation. Germans are very frugal to this day. They save a lot of money. They don't use credit cards. They don't go into debt like Americans. They never did. They save money. They've been saving for decades, but the, they were saving in marks. And in a few months, in 1922-23, those marks became worthless. And all the savings accumulated by all the German families were worthless. They lost the war. They lost their future. They lost their savings. And in 1929, a few years later, the Great Depression hit, and they lost their jobs. It was too much. In 10 years, everything was destroyed. And you know what happened to them? They decided that their savior would be this short little man with a funny dark mustache who claimed that the great people of the world were blue-eyed and blonde, even though he was neither. And they followed Adolf Hitler into a total and complete disaster. But they were desperate, and they were really suffering. And it isn't so hard to understand. Economic decline, especially when you're not prepared for it, is a social trauma. And we're living through it now. 